I just walked a million steps! Woo! <laughs> morning. I hope all of you watched Survivor last night. There's definitely a different feel to it. I keep saying new era. Although I'm not a minority, I'm white mixed with even more white. I think the new era thing, how do you say no to me? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna go on that rant right now. Um, obviously still grieving, you know, just how a mother of eight dies of COVID is beyond me. As far as being fair goes, life isn't fair. Um, but I'm gonna stay positive. Um, I look forward to, there are two, I'm in Cuba and I'm heading to Rolla, Missouri. And there's a hotel, I believe 23 miles away and a hotel uh, on the other side of Rolla, 25 miles a day. So we'll see how I'm feeling at the end of the day. Maybe I'll go the extra couple miles. Cause I'll tell you, no matter, no matter how many miles it is, the last five miles was all mental. Every single time, without fail. It's like, it just, I don't know what it is, but um, it was 44 degrees this morning, but by the time I got outside, it was like 59. I do have a long sleeve shirt. This was the only long sleeve item I brought. So at some point, I'm definitely gonna have to get a jacket. But um, at some point today, I need to check my phone. I'm going to hit the 1 million step mark. So I'm super excited for that. Small victories, right? All right, guys, wish me luck. I did have one uh, scary situation yesterday that was a feeling I've never felt before. All of a sudden, now keep in mind, I'm 10 miles into the walk, so I'm not that far in. It's a cool day. I wasn't pushing it real hard. I had ate fine, plenty of water. And all of a sudden, I was just kind of like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like I had to put my pole down immediately and stop. And I even said out loud, WTF, Greg, because I never felt that sensation before. It was like a, like a, like about to go black, faint kind of feel. I get, I don't know how to describe it. So I hurried up and I ate whatever candy. I had some candy in my right pocket and chugged some water and it seemed to go away, but I'd never, never, ever felt that feeling before. I hope I don't feel it again. And it was just so random, like out of nowhere. I don't, I don't even know what it was. Anyway, I keep having these dreams that Jeff Probst is going to pull up on the side of the road. Be like, just come on. And, uh, yeah, that would be a dream come true. <laughs> how, how awesome would that be if he just pulled over and was like, all right, you're on the show. Go home, be with your nieces and nephews. Maybe that's my new goal. <laughs> Love you guys. This, uh, for whatever reason, reminds me of the Barefoot Bandit. Look it up. It's this kid that, like, went around, like, stealing airplanes and was on the run. It was actually a pretty crazy story. I'm on some back road right now. Uh, this is the most peace and quiet I've had in a couple of days. Route 66 was not very good to me. Just no shoulder, cars flying by. The lanes feel like a lot more narrow too. Anyway, um, I did have one close call yesterday. Uh, this dog, a pit bull, it's the first pit bull I've seen, came charging at me. Uh, I from a pretty good distance away so I had time to like run across the street and just kind of like get into a good defensive position because like here's the thing if a car if a dog is going to run across the street at me and a car sees a dog a car might swerve to not hit the dog and then maybe they hit me so that always scares the crap out of me too but my friend Vanessa since I don't have any mace on me my friend Vanessa said if a dog charges you say bad dog just be real loud and sometimes that'll deter him and so sure enough, that dog got within, hmm, I'm gonna say 30, 40 feet, something like that. And I said, bad dog, and it stopped. And it like turned around. I was like, what? I cannot believe that actually worked. So uh, thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. They literally stopped following me and started doing it. Now that was a hot dog. Hey. Bad. 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 Hey, bad. Hey, bad. And that would be the worst part about walking through the middle of nowhere in the country. 
<sighs> Apparently Bam and Alfie aren't very good listeners, are they? Howdy, now get, I wanna get in that outhouse. Look at that, it's got air conditioning. That's amazing. And a satellite? The owner of Staples lives here. Thank you for your overpriced ink cartridges. You know, just a skull in the middle of the field. You look like a sheepdog. What are you, a werewolf? No, buddy, no. Hey. No. No. The owner was outside, so I yelled to him, are they friendly? And he said, they should be. Well, should be ain't cutting it, dude. Come on, man. Speed limit, 25, except we're posted. 45, literally right next to it. Because I had a cold? Yeah. 23 days, 44,000 steps per day, which means right now, I just walked a million steps! Woo! Only four million to go. Thank you, little buddies. You're missing one. Bigfoot. Tonight's hotel is sponsored by Jason Simpson. Thank you, Jason. I did uh, 25 miles and nine and a half hours earlier, and uh, I just want to lay on the floor for a minute, kind of stretch out, get that weight off of my feet. But um, here's a tour of the room, if you can see it. Woo! Yeah, there's a 360 view for you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I just want to thank everyone for a second. I can honestly say this whole trip i've never felt alone one time and i appreciate that so thank you guys i threw away my ringworm medicine because i thought that it was gone but what is that if that's not ringworm now what is that there's a barbecue place right next to my hotel literally i'm walking out of the lobby some dude's little french bulldog charges at me and he's acting like nothing happened it's like dude you barely got that collar before he got me. I don't know what it is about dogs today, but jeez. Barber Brewer, you have no idea. Thank you so much. And the best part about this is the restaurant has Tesla charging stations. It was so good I went round two on some chicken wings. This restaurant's called Bandanas, and I love this place. They're even bringing the Crips and the Bloods together. Nope, that's definitely metal.